Hello and welcome to a new video about my thing, temperature control thing. Last time we managed to map the temperature sensors to the corresponding, corresponding uh, temperature values and I want that I can adjust those temperature values by, by using the keypad. Okay, this is what we're going to do today. So actually, uh, here's the program from last time. Yeah. Actually, what I want to do is I want to have a second counter and I will use the selected temp sensor. This is also zero. And here, down here in the menu, uh, where we said, okay, if we are in menu temp, yeah, then we will change the we will change the temperature sensor, the actual temperature sensor. I will now add menu temp edit. Make this twenty one. Ah. Uh, if we are in, in temperature and we want to edit the, the index, we will do this with pad, with keypad number D, yeah, because D is at the bottom right. I'll show you here. D is at the bottom right. This is somehow like an, an enter button. Yeah. I want to use this to change, enter. Yeah. Right now, for instance, we have temperature number two, and if I want to change this temperature number two, air temperature, the sensor, the sensor index, I would press enter. And then I want to be displayed a choice of, of available sensors. All right. So, uh, in case this I made nice case. Key D. Huh? Break. I will say the menu position shall be menu uh, temp edit. Uh, I will write on the serial on the How to do this? I'll write on the LCD. LCD set cursor. Uh, I will go to zero and third line and I will print. New sensor number. I will also set the selected temp sensor yeah, to the to the poo, what was the name of this index temp sensor index from act temp sensor. Okay. If the selected temp sensor is bigger and now uh, I have made a maximum count yeah? and temp sensors yeah? we can get the number of sensors the temp sensors has found yeah? uh, get temp sensor count that's it yeah? minus one of course Minus one, I think that's, that should do the trick. If this is bigger, make some brackets here that we know. If this is bigger, then a cell temp sensor shall be zero. Some default value simply. Okay. And now,
LCD dot LCD dot print a cell temp sensor number whatever all right uh, so now we are in menu temp edit this is good this is good here we are calling a break here we are in case menu temp edit break if we are in menu temp edit we will switch switch key code again the same the same stuff we are doing yeah? and we will also change this with star and and hashtag so i will simply copy this here but we will not change the actual temp sensor we will change the selected temp sensor selected temp sensor greater zero and here we will use get this here and below here here we have this selected temp sensor here we are just manipulating the selected temp sensor yeah. this is good and here we will not do output temp this is wrong here we will go to lcd set cursor and we will go 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and 3 and print the selected temp sensor hmm now we should be already able to select yeah? if we press the button D again yeah? then we will store this then we say then we say the temp if I would remember the temp sensor index temp sensor index of of act temp sensor this shall be now the selected temp sensor this is good break why is this temp temp should work yes okay and we will go back to to menu position is now again temperature we will output main uh, output temp call output temp and and we will go to lcd03 before and lcd.print delete the last line simply one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty uh, just write just blanks delete the last line this is if you press key we are storing this new this new index good if we press c i also want to have such escape yeah? 
and C is above D, so this is not, I will not simply not store it, but then do the same. Hey! Case key D, look at that, I will make it like that. Here we store it. <laughs> now it makes sense. Then we only do it, we only do it storing in, if we press D and then we exit and in, in C we only exit. This is good. Huh? This time I don't need this break. Without the break we will just continue to execute until here. Is this already it? Is it already? Is it it? Is it it it? <laughs> I try. Upload. Upload. Let's have a look what is happening. Okay. Change to the change to the page for the temperatures. Okay, select. I will want to select another sensor for the air temperature. Enter. Ooh, this is working. Huh? I want to select the sensor number zero. Hey, I selected sensor number zero. Twenty-two to eight degree. Yes. <laughs> okay, this worked. However, I, it would be fine if we... Here, now I want to select sensor number one. It would be fine if we would have here the temperature, right? This would be nice. This would be really nice if we would see the temperature. Yeah, well, let's code this. Let's code this. I also saw one thing, sensor, I'll make here column, yeah. then I will make here like this, and we want to do it like this. I will make here switch again. Menu position. Instead of the if, I will say case menu temp edit. Yeah. We will uh, output. Will you? I will simply use this. But this time in the third line, we will output temperature sense, get temperature from cell temp sensor. We will get the temperature from the cell temp sensor. And in case we have menu temp. And here we'll do a break again. I will do the same trick as before. We will output this. <laughs> this should already work. This should already work. Upload, upload, upload. Embed, parameters, temperature. I will now, look, we have now power both values and now we are see, we see the actual value of temperature sensor number one. If I touch this here, it is reacting so I can find out before I store, I can find out if I have the right, the correct value. And I can also see 
temperature sensor number two. What is this? This was here. This, 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 this. What I remember? Yes, yes. And C not stored. This is also working. Good. So we can select the mapping, the mapping of our sensors. However, you know, if I'm unplug now, replug now, this old programming is gone. Eh? So I will store this. I will store this in EEPROM. EEPROM. I will add a, a header file. Eh? I will add a header file. New element, header file, and I will call this them EEPROM offsets. Let's also put this to here. EEPROM offset, I will call this offset because I want to store it, this yeah, temp index, yeah, and where I store it, 100. I don't want to start with zero, I don't know why. Define. I will write define offset temp index process. This should be at, at 100. Then we have what was the next one? This is the sink and the air. Sink. This is 101. And air. This is 102. Okay. And when I store this here, where is this here? I store this. I will call eprom.write. Every time I store this, and where I want to store this, here, plus act temp sensor. Yeah. So if we if act temp sensor is zero, we will store it at one hundred. If act, zero means process temperature. If we at one, we will store it as one. Yeah. So here, this is zero one two. No, should I think it should be. Yeah. Uh, act temperature sensor which value which value are we storing uh, well this one I guess uh -huh, there is underlined of course because I need to include this new file eprom offsets.h this is nice the program is not that long up to now good yeah. so we are writing this to the eprom offset now we will also we will also read this we will also read this, and this we will do in 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 setup. We of course have to call eprom dot begin, yeah. and we'll read it simply. Yeah. I make a for i, a for int i starting at zero yeah, until i is smaller than max temp sensors yeah, minus one, of course. I will increase i, and here we are reading out temp sensor index. What was the name? 
temp sensor index uh, from i is e prom dot read offset temp index plus i hmm. I have only one issue if the temps if the, the right now it's empty I'm not sure what is written there uh, so I guess FFF -F -F. Uh, so I need then to check if if temp sensor so if nothing was stored already fresh a brand new brand new uh, is bigger or equal uh, temp sensors dot get temp sensor count What do we have to do then? Then we will do this is wrong. Huh? This is correct. Uh, then we will set it to the default value and I will simply call temp sensor. I will set it to I. Why not? And I just found out here that I've written the wrong thing. I want to have this temp sensor index, of course. Huh? Replace all. Okay, so right now there's nothing inside. So I should I should set it from zero, one, two, three. Why not? Huh? And once I have stored it, it should work. Hmm. Let's upload this and see if this is really if this is really happening. Zero, one, also one. <laughs> okay, I will change this now. Zero, yes. So I should have stored it now in EEPROM. Temperature number one was sensor number two. Enter. Temperature number two was sensor number one. Yes. Okay. Reset. Let's see if this was stored. Yeah, zero, two, one. Now we are storing it in EEPROM. Yeah. So now we really can configure this according to our sensors and when we restart our controller it will be according to our configuration. This is this is good. So now we are reading reading in the temperatures. Okay. Okay. Next time we'll check a little bit around the main page, that we put something at this main page that is not just written main page, we want to put something there. Okay? We'll then be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.